Yeah, that's perfect. You're here for our psychological survey. Okay, awesome. So I'm just gonna need a little bit of information from you before we start, is that okay? Okay, perfect. So, first, can I get your name? Yes, first and last. Okay, perfect. Can I get your email address? Okay, perfect. Alright, can I get your phone number? Okay, perfect. Um, how old are you? Okay. And do you go to school? Okay. And what is your occupation, if you have one? Now here's some, not really information, like personal information, just other types of questions. So first, how are you feeling today? Okay, and approximately how many hours of sleep do you get per night? Okay. Do you eat breakfast normally? Yes, the most important meal of the day. Okay, um, how often do you exercise? Okay. And about how long? Do you talk to your friends often? Okay. Okay, what is your zodiac sign? Um, and then these are more of like personality questions, so, um, winter or summer? Sweet or sour? Okay, and the last question is, if you had a free night, would you rather go out and party with your friends, or would you rather cuddle up in bed with some and watch, like, Netflix? Okay. <laughs> yeah, there's no right answer, it's just personality based okay give me one second Just checking a couple things can I see the wristband that they gave you on the way in So, um, the first thing that we're gonna do, which is the main, um, source of data that we're collecting, is the inkblot test. I'm sure you've heard about it. Yes, okay, so I'm just gonna hold up a piece of paper and it has a picture on it, and I just want you to tell me what you see on it, okay? Yeah, there's no right or wrong answer, it's just purely whatever you see, okay? Okay, so first thing. Okay. Yeah, it's perfect. Mm -hmm. And if you ever get any sort of like feeling or like, I don't know, sensation, when you look at the, um, picture, please feel free to tell me, okay? Yeah, let me know. Okay. Are you ready for the next one? Okay, this one kind of got cut off, but it's okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
The next one is a little bit small, but that's okay. Okay. Perfect. Next one. Very good. Okay, and you're doing okay, right? Okay, perfect. So the next one. Yeah, that one's pretty interesting. <laughs> yeah, we've gotten a lot of different responses on that one. Okay, and we've got about three or four more. Yeah, goes pretty quick. Here's the next one. This one's kind of small. What do you see? Okay. Yeah, a lot of people see two things in that one, like you. was a little difficult, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this is the last one. Just tell me what you see. Okay, very good. Now, just based on what you've told me, I'm going to make a few notes and compare it to 
some of the other data we received. Okay, perfect. So just give me one second. Perfect. So just as kind of a wind down test, we're going to be testing just some quick um, correlation between your um, sense of smell, your sense of touch, and your eyesight. And we're going to sense the correlation between those senses and the psychological part of your brain. So. I just have three more tests that we're going to do, and they're really fast, really easy, quick. So the first thing is, I have this bottle of perfume, and it just has a scent that I'm not going to tell you what it is, because that is for you to tell me, okay? So I'm going to, I can spray it in the, in the cap and let you smell the cap, or I can spray it in the air and you can, and you can um, smell the waft of it. Yeah, we can do both, that's fine. Okay. Which one do you want first? Okay, I'll spray it in the cap first. Oh, just to make sure. Um, on the online registration, you said that you were not allergic to anything, correct? Okay. Perfect. Alright, are you ready? Okay, and here you go, you can smell it. Yeah, oftentimes you can't really get a good whiff of it when it's in the cap. Okay. And then you still want me to spray it in the air? Okay, perfect. I will go ahead and do that. You ready? Okay. You can kind of wave it towards you. And just tell me what you smell. Perfect. So that was the first um, of our wind down tests. Next, I have the eyesight test. So I just have a couple of shapes. What I want you to do is, when I hold one of the shapes up, I just want you to tell me what color it is, and that's it. <laughs> yeah, okay. So the first one I have is this. Okay, good, blue. Next. Pink, good. Next we have this. Yellow, good. And one more we're going to do this. Green, good. Perfect. 
Yeah, it's just kind of um, a connection between the shape. It's a different shape every time. That's usually a different color. Okay, and we actually have two more tests to do, and one is scent. I mean, not scent. One is taste, and one is touch. So we're going to do the touch first, and all I want you to do is hold out your hands like this. Good. And all I'm going to do is, um, like, um, br brush, brush your hands, and what I want you to do is just tell me the score. Describe what you're feeling, okay? Yeah, perfect. So just have your hands out like this. I'm just gonna brush them. And you can flip them over like this. Good. Can you tell me? Try to describe what you were feeling. Yeah, what the brush felt like. Okay. Very good. Okay, and the last test that we have today is a taste test. So I have this little cube. Not cube, but it's a little shape. I don't know what this shape is called. But I just want you to give it a little lick and tell me what you taste, okay? Yeah, and there's a purple side. Yeah, it's a slight... Yeah, because the purple is the more extreme taste, and then the green is the... What do you call it? Milder taste. So I want you to look at both sides of this and then tell me what you taste, okay? Yeah, I'm gonna wipe. Okay. I'll let you taste the, this side first. Okay. Okay, and the other side for me. Purple side. So, can I just have you sign right here for me, please? Yeah, right there. Perfect. Thank you very much. And can I have you print your name for me right here, please? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Thank you very much. 